Now, first off, I want to thank uh, people who have uh, watched my video, of course, uh, and grateful for that. And I want them not just to watch it, but to utilize my ideas or to change um, or have an impact. That's what the purpose of a video. Well, that's what it's for, right? So I'm I'm, I'm very grateful uh, for all of you to watch my video and, and mix it into your video. That makes me happy. That that is like ha like uh, Nirvana to me. Um, happiness like to over nine thousand or <laughs> oh my uh, hair turned blonde like super sane um anyway uh Lennon Honor been you know putting his uh my ideas also into his videos and I am very grateful for that he watched my videos and he been uh watching it for a very long time and I'm very thankful uh, it, it's an honor to be able to you know uh have him on my YouTube channel and have him watch my uh, video th and it's it's awesome that uh, these ideas could help um, our life uh, if we let it uh, and when I was starting out when I was building my uh, YouTube channel back in like 2015 all I, you know to, because I watched so many videos of how to do YouTube videos people were talking about watch time and views but I really didn't understand it not really to the extent how I understand it now right because people are looking at uh, for social proof and that uh, that a lot of views meaning that you're some type of awesomeness but I think that's for people because they don't ha they don't have any uh, thing to measure right and now I understand what I'm measuring at. I'm beginning to understand and become aware of this thing that I'm trying to build, um, to create. Um, because when I was doing the uh, uh, my old YouTube channel, uh, and it was around Law of Attraction niche, right? And I hated it. Because I didn't want just to do Law of Attraction all the time. Like, Law of Attraction this, Law of Attraction this... Yeah, great. What is that there is to talk about? Vibrations, frequencies, and all that. It bored the f, f out of me, man. Like, that doesn't excite me. It, because I know that there is so much more to learning than just attracting things, right? Because I know that. And But the thing is, every time I upload, it makes me... I, like it, it burns my soul, man. It's like I put it out there and I'll like, say, you know what? What's the point of me doing this if I don't love it, right? If I don't have the passion just for, I get it because they subscribe for the law of attraction content, but they better understand it's it's more than just the law of attraction, more than just frequency vibration. Because if that's all you know, you won't grow. That's it. It's gonna tap. You're gonna tap out. You. It's gonna be your limit, and and you won't let any new things in. That's that's what happened to most of a lot of law of attraction people, or a lot of uh, when they get into it, and so they tapped out. So, I would like to thank uh, Landon Honor uh, and Roberto Blake, Stephen Kaufman, Jason David Frank. I watched um, Jason David Frank video, and I was like, oh, he said that. And I was like, did I inspire him to do that? He's like, F that bullshit. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, and Evan Carmichael. And of course, every, uh, because I can't find results. Like, I, I think for me, results is have to be, uh, I'm beginning to begin aware that I can uh, look either on Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. But usually YouTube uh, or Twitter, I can see the information where my idea is being spread. Right, because that is like I, I I couldn't see it at first because I was do, I, I guess I was if I was being honest I guess I was doing it more for the watch time than anything <laughs> I wasn't doing it for the views <laughs> no I think uh, at first maybe uh, we were thinking uh, like the views probably mattered when I was 2015 maybe views matter but now I understand that multiple views. It doesn't matter if, see, I think that for me, if people watch my content, I don't want them to be a bystander, uh, a consumer, right? I want them, it's better than they watch my content and execute on that, that idea instead of becoming zombies, right? Why? Because 
most of the time in the law of attraction communities and the spiritual and all, they're like passive, right? Like they, um, you know, they, they consume this, but there's no execution, right? So they consume all the ideas, but they, I guess, I guess, uh, the way that I want them to do is execute on that idea. It's better to execute uh, imperfectly than perfectly, right? So let's talk about it. Um, Gary V, right? A lot of people love Gary V, especially in their entrepreneurial niche. Um, I love him too. Um, that sounds kind of wrong. I love you, Gary V. Please, please be my father for my darks. Uh, uh, what he he was be my what was it? Um, my dark sidious. Please train me in to the dark side. And then Gary V say, I will train you. But it's going to be hard work. Ha 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 ha. My young apprentice. You will develop the dark side. I will train you to kill. Kill what? Oh shit. Okay. To execute. Execute what? Your business ideas. Ha <laughs> ha. I think that's not a good impression of the RV. <laughs> um, so, uh, in his blog or medium, he said, one view can change everything. And so, this is how I measure my success on YouTube, is how is my ideas is changing the people's life? Um, because I can't really see it. Because if a subscriber of mine watch my video, I can't really see it. Unless they use their ideas in my uh, in their YouTube videos or somehow in some way and they execute on their dreams. Um, Gary V said in his Medium blog or post, um, he said, I hear people say, well, how do I get in New York Times or how do I get that meeting with that CEO? And oftentimes I say, one is better than zero. The concept around is one is better than zero is simply a call to action to do. One view is better than zero, and that uh, human uh, humanity and patient is not human. I, I don't think it's humanity. Damn, I can't read my oh, fuck me, man. All right, and patient is the foundation of for success. The time it take you take to get you in front the in the door at the biggest company in the world is often years and years of hard work. Remember, he started at zero too. Every view counts. Uh, you may look at a, view, a video and only see 246 video and write it off, but one of those 200 videos might be a producer at CNN, might be the CFO of a big company that you're trying to reach. Uh, mostly, mainly, my audience is entrepreneurs, but some are also, um, how you say, it? Uh, just wa um, law of attraction stuff. But most are like entrepreneurs because I interview uh, them and then they uh, watch my content. Um, this changed everything actually for me. Um, I didn't see the results. I, I have no idea how to measure success on YouTube until I watch it. At first, I was like, hmm, are they? Okay, so this is my thought. I was like, okay. I thought, this is my, uh, in my head, right? It's like, okay, I'd I done the interview, right? Because <laughs> I interview, um, uh, what was it? Uh, all the best-selling author, New York Times best-selling author. I was like, hmm, okay, I guess that's done. All right, go on the next uh, interview. <laughs> and so what ended up happening is I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to create a video, a uh, book review, or, you know, just a talk. And I was like, okay, whatever. I don't m pay attention. I was, and then I start watching, um, you know, people who I interview or look up to uh, because they are a CEO or authors. And I was like, huh. Because I didn't know they'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. I literally thought like, like the interview was done, right? Literally, I, I, this is what my head is. Is done. Okay, so um, that's cool. All right, something happened. All right, interview done, 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 done. And then I realized, <laughs> I was like, hmm, are they on my YouTube channel? This is my head actually. Back in the day, I was like, hmm, are they on my YouTube channel? 
Hmm. Very interesting. And then I realized they are on my YouTube channel. God damn man. This is why. Um. Uh, uh, good thing I broke that barrier, right? The uh the terror barrier, as Bob Proctor say, right? I was so afraid. <laughs> I was so afraid because they're more successful than me. I was like, oh shit. Oh, that's scary as shit. But now, successful people are using my ideas. And I know that, um, what's his name? Uh, Mike Murphy. He have watched my uh, interviews. And then he also used that in his interview. Uh, uh, and he interviewed, I forgot his name. Uh, ah, Mark Allen. I, I love that dude uh, for the love of attraction when he like... Um, uh, try to, you know, not try to, use the law of attraction, and one view does matter, I think, uh, most people never start, because they're looking for that, um, uh, a lot of dopamine hit with views, um, most people think views in terms of popularity, but for me, now I don't look at views like that anymore, I view as if when I put out the content, one idea, one tweak, one uh, knowledge, one something could change their life, whether they're in their business, their personal life, their family life. If I can direct them in the right direction, that is uh, awesome because we're all doing it for something. And if, if all we do is do it for the views, that doesn't count. And I execute on knowing that now. See, that's why every time I put a video, I execute understanding. Um, it, I understand who my audience is. That is personal. That that it for me. I understand who my audience is, but also I understand that I have to inject who I am uh, at play because um, nobody can copy me because they can't because they they are themselves. They have their own unique experiences, and I have my own unique experiences that, you know, one thing that is right and true is speaking your truth, because nobody can actually touch you in that area, because once you speak your truth, because you have a unique lens, the stories, the experience that you dealt with, and all the com combination uh, with the study, the the learning, the experience, the failing, the testing, because oftentimes most people don't put out videos because they're afraid to fail or um, that they're not getting the results. Um, I put out videos to test, right? Even though it's scary, it's testing my boundary, testing um, my limits, testing uh, the way that I see the world, uh, and it's testing uh, my thought patterns because this is my thought patterns. This is how I think. This is how I talk, and this is how I imagine the world to be. No, I mean, uh, I'm not actually. You know what? I see the world in my image instead of theirs. But the world, the way the world is, isn't what people think it is. And. As I go on to creating more videos, I understand that it's not only creating more videos just for the heck of creating more videos, right? It's pushing the boundaries between what do you want to accomplish in this world, right? What do you want to see happen? What what vision, what ideas do you want to see happen? What change do you want to see happen? And I can't just drop one bit of video and, not, and wait for things to happen. That's the same thing as the law of attraction community. They wait for things to happen so nothing changes. So I drop a video. And I move on. I drop a video. I move on. Why? Because it doesn't matter. I don't want the video just to go viral. I don't want it to go viral. I want it to be a an idea. Uh, a thought. Um, my thought. Um, to able to change the course of someone's love's life. It's not only not only that it's changing their life, it's changing my life. Like the experiences, um, the this is the first time. It's like actually it's been like this uh, a while, uh, like last year, but I couldn't really uh, understand it until now because once you drop a video, you keep making more. It's not about making more videos. 
It's about gaining more awareness and experience while you're creating that video. I think that's the concept of why you should create video. People create video just to be popular or to be um, famous or to be... For me, I wanted to create video to develop the skills, the awareness, especially the awareness that most people can't see. Because that's what I'm after now, right? Because I'm beginning to become more aware. I want to be like aware of the things that I'm not aware of. Because that's how you build skills. Skills are... See, the thing is, skills take not only time, not only effort, but you have to fail a lot. Like, you're going to, like, fail. Some videos won't do good. Uh, some video will way do really good. So, most people won't do this because they don't see the results right away. And oftentimes, Gary's right. It takes years of hard work. Right. I don't know why people hate the word hard work. Like, because they hear the play on words, working smart, working harder. What the fuck? I was thinking about, isn't, like, bodybuilders work hard all their time? Like, fitness people, they work hard, hella hard, right? They fucking rip their muscles and they work, like, they f since they're coaching other people, and then they're fucking working hella hard, right? And I was like, damn, I wonder what people think of fucking doing YouTube or law of attraction, like spiritual. Why is it? Why do people shit on hard work? Matter of fact, Kung Fu Master will shit on the easy, right? Because Kung Fu Master understand. Like, this is why I love um, the uh, the old traditional. See, this is where I love the old traditional way of Kung Fu training. Kung Fu training back in the day, where they fucking make you work fucking hella hard. That's fucking kung fu training, man. They, um, I wish, it pissed me off that back then, I wish they didn't do easy, right? Because what happened is, uh, as the old time, uh, as time changes, uh, the class become easier, right? They didn't push student as hard as they did then because probably laws or something, I can't remember. But, uh, back in the old days, like, you know how, like, those kung fu movies, right? They fucking push the students so hard, they, and they they become so skilled. Like they have to fucking bring up the water. They have to um, do push ups, or whatever those things, and they push themselves, right? And so what happened is because we have all this technology, microwave, instant shit. Like nothing is mastered, nothing is skilled, nothing is uh, so it's lopsided, and it's it makes people lazy because we have all this technology. Right, and I was like, "What the f ah. man?" That makes me. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know if, if you if, like, maybe maybe law of attraction, spiritual people should like go in the training of kung fu, man. <laughs> they won't like it. <laughs> so goddamn. Uh, maybe I won't like it too. Goddamn. <laughs> uh, those times. You know, I remember. Uh, I love punching walls. It fucking hurts. And you'd be like, wait, what's this matter? It matters, right? So it's like this, right? When you punch a wall, you think it's nothing. <laughs> Most American think it's like, why would you want to punch a wall? Think about this. Every time I punch a wall, what happens? Yeah, in your mind, you're like, yeah, I know what happened. It break your bone. Exactly. That's what you want to happen. You want to punch the wall so you break your bones and be like, wait a second. I punched the wall and break my bones. Why would I want to do that? Because every time you punch the wall, what you're doing is you're conditioning your knuckle. So every time you punch the wall, you condition your knuckle. You know, I punched the floor. I, I no, not not now. Uh, a long time ago, as a teenager or uh, 19, I punched the floor. I punched walls. I punched bricks. I punched rocks. Why? So I can condition my fists. So anytime I make an impact in somebody's body or like face, it hurt them. Well. That's the concept anyway, right? Like, it hurts. Like, anybody who, like, punches you and you block, it hurt their, um, it hurt their, uh, their arm or something. It, it's, the, that's the point. And then you punch it. And then, that's what happened, right? But, that's the concept, okay? I don't do that anymore. Nor do I want to do that anymore. <laughs> I have no fire in my eyes anymore in that area anymore. 
I don't have fires. I don't have the will of fire anymore, God. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Gary V. I'm going to make an altar for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like Gary V. You're my God. God, give me your power and execution and I will execute it. No. You must execute your business. I'll say, okay. What's that mean? All right, that's pretty much it. I don't want to joke around too much. Remember, one view mean one view does matter. It changed everything. It changed for me.